Well, hey there, everyone. I'm Esther Barkew. Today, I want to talk to you about how to boost your happy hormones in healthy, supportive, and productive ways. For those of you who are new to me, welcome to my channel. I am Esther Barkew. I'm a core belief therapist, intuitive and energy reader, super fan and student of astrology. I combine core belief therapy I do a technique called core belief engineering. It's like a soul journey within with psychological tips, tools, and techniques with energy healing, spiritual mentoring, spirit field messages to offer to my clients really grounded, practical guidance, and then also deep inner change within that creates transformation in your life. So today I want to talk about uh, hormones. And we have four hormones inside of us that really, when we boost them, boosts our joy level, boosts our happiness quotient, and really our natural stress relievers, okay? So let's talk about them and give you some practical suggestions to put into place. So hormones, they are chemicals produced by glands in the body. All right, and our happy hormones are dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins. Let's start with dopamine. This is the hormone that is about pleasure and about reward, right? Recognition, whether it's getting recognition from other people, self-recognition, which is what I always recommend, um, doing something and then receiving a reward for it. And in this day and age, one of the ways that many people get their dopamine hits is through social media, right? Like, oh, how many likes did I get on my video, my post, my image? And the more likes, the more the dopamine hits, that reward center, uh, the pleasure center gets stimulated within. And there's nothing wrong with this. We all like to get likes on our social media posts. But when you rely on this to get a dopamine hit, when you post something and you don't get a certain amount of likes and then that crushes your self-confidence, creates insecurities, when you find that you're always trying to do something more provocative, more outrageous, maybe you're starting to not be honest or truthful about what you're posting just to get those likes, well, that's a slippery slope. And so I want to talk about healthy ways to get these dopamine hits. And we get them often through uh, our accomplishments, right? So achieving your goals, uh, setting out to do a project and completing it. Even if it's something really simple like, you know what? I cut that grass really well today. Or I just cooked a beautiful meal, right? That reward center. But we get it through creative efforts. Anything that you do that is creative will stimulate dopamine. Singing, dancing, uh, decorating your home. Maybe it's writing an article, doing a newsletter. Maybe it's just the creation of the video. Never mind the likes that you're getting. Um, designing a beautiful space in your backyard where people can gather and just sit and enjoy. So any of those creative elements are really good at boosting dopamine. All right. And something I just found out really interesting because I'm an intermittent faster from the science that's starting to come out about intermittent fasting is that can also boost your dopamine levels. It affects all of your hormones, but in particular dopamine, because if you're doing intermittent fasting, maybe you're doing 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, whatever it is, when you come to the end of that period and you're about to break your fast with a cup of coffee or something to eat, there's that ooh, reward, I did it. So interesting, think about it. Maybe that is something you want to implement for your health, your well-being, to boost your dopamine. Maybe you're already doing, and that's just another benefit to the practice that you're enjoying. All right, serotonin. This is that mood changer, the relaxer, the, ah, right? We talk about serotonin hits, um, tryptophan, which we get from turkey, right? After that big turkey dinner and you're like, oh, I just, <laughs> I just need to go to 
sit on the sofa, but you feel really good, maybe even a little bit sleepy, right? So how do you get nice serotonin hits from listening to beautiful music, soft music, maybe it's piano music, um, listening to waves? right? Listening to nature sounds, the birds chirping. You can get serotonin hits by just walking outside in the sunshine. That's a theme for boosting all of our hormones, including our immunity, is getting outside in the sunshine, face to the sun, especially if you can do it in nature somewhere. But if you're in the city, still get out there, face to the sun. Um, anywhere outdoors serotonin hits now how do we often get serotonin hits well sugar sugar alcohol uh, food drugs to alter our mood now I'm not going to say that there's anything wrong with this um, you will know if it is healthy and supportive for you or if it verges on self-sabotage and destructive behavior Okay, I have mentioned quite a few times in my videos that for me, when it comes to sweets, I know I'm a sweet addict. I got to stay away from it completely. I can't just have one square of chocolate. For me, one square is not enough and one square is way too much because it's going to trigger something that I don't want to do. All right, so I got to find other ways to change my mood, to boost my hormones, to give me that serotonin high. But if you can say, Esther, I can have one little square and get my little high and move on. I can have one glass of wine and move on. I can, um, you know, whatever it is, eat a certain food and I'm great with one and I can move on. Fantastic. But for those of you who are like me, who it's not about one ice cream cone, it's about, oh, let's go buy the tub of ice cream, <laughs> then these are other ways that you can boost your serotonin. So oxytocin, that is that love hormone, uh, bonding, physical contact. Again, um, if you want to increase oxytocin levels in a healthy, supportive way, Spend time with someone, either face-to-face, -face, on the phone, on Skype, whatever method you use, that you just feel good being around. You know that person is like, every time I'm with you, I feel good. Okay, for me, that's my friend Kelly. Um, we don't see each other a lot because we live in different parts of the world. We don't even text a lot. But if we have a phone call, if we meet in person, we just always leave going, oh my gosh, I feel so good. It really is a beautiful oxytocin, love, relationship, friendship bond that is created there. All right. Um, hug someone. Hug someone. Hug a, a, your niece, your nephew, your sister, a friend. Um, I said, so, you know, I, in my business, when I'm with clients, when I'm on retreat, we're always hugging each other. Good morning, hugging each other at night before we go to bed. I mean, it's just part of what I do. Hug, maybe you have a pet, a pet can climb up on your lap and you hug your pet. If you've got access to a small child, a baby, holding a baby will increase your oxytocin. Yes, sex does, intimacy does, any kind of touch does. As long as it's healthy, it's a healthy relationship, okay? If you find you are in this, just love me, I need somebody to love me, I, I'm, I'm gonna have sex with you, just kind of love me, and that person does not honor you, does not treat you well it doesn't you know say my gosh you are so amazing you may get an oxytocin hit right off the start but the back end of that is actually going to be a lower vibration it's going to be a lower vibration okay and you know if you're saying i don't have a pet but i like the idea of pets see if there's somebody in the neighborhood that has a dog to walk once a week i don't have a pet Okay, my lifestyle does not make for a pet, but when I'm walking up and down the promenades or walking up and down the streets, wherever I am, there is always somebody walking a dog. And if I get a sense that this dog is really friendly, then I kind of 
you know, go bend down and I'm like, hello, how are you? Give the dog a little scratch. You know, it's for me. And I hope the dog gets a blessing from it too, but that's for me, right? When I see the mom walking by with her stroller, I always, you know, kind of peek in and look at the baby and smile and say, hello, I keep walking. I don't want to startle the mom, but it's for me and for the baby. And it's a beautiful oxytocin hit. All right. And then the fourth happy hormone for you to boost naturally and in a healthy way is endorphins. And this is that it's, it's a stress reliever, but it's also a high. We often talk about it like the runner's high. Like I just ran a marathon and my body aches and, and I'm so tired and I'm exhausted, but my God, I feel like I can accomplish anything. And we often get these endorphins through physical exercise, particularly like running, anything that really takes a lot of effort. Maybe it's hiking, you know, some vigorous hiking. It can be sexual activity, um, hit training and hit training is when you uh, exercise for a smaller amount of time and you do like uh, 30 seconds really fast, 30 seconds slow, 60 seconds high intensity, 60 seconds maybe nothing, pausing, low intensity, that back and forth really gets the endorphins going and you get this high and it's really, it really is that energy that pushes to you to like, yeah, I can do this, I can, I can do it all. All right. So uh, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins, those are the four hormones inside of us that really boost relaxation, boost enjoyment, joy, happiness within. There are many different ways and methods that you can really stimulate this within. I've given you examples of how to do them in healthy, productive ways. You might be thinking, ooh, I do stimulate these, but you know what? Not in supportive ways. Today is a good day to start turning that around. Maybe you have some suggestions beyond what I've mentioned here. So this is up on YouTube. Please put a comment in the comment section below and tell me how you boost these happy hormones within. We can pool all kinds of ideas and have this great toolkit. So in any given moment, we can say, oh, I'm going to try this and I'm going to do this. And this sounds really good. I always love to hear from you. Now, there are two things that I want to say as I was doing a little bit of research for this and also reflecting in my own life what I use um, there were two hormone boosting activities that came up over and over that really affect all four at once and the number one which I've already mentioned is walking outside in the sunshine okay and we also know that boosts your immunity so just that simple activity, which costs nothing and likely easy to fit in your day at some point or another, even for five minutes, will give you a lot of beautiful boosts to support you in your day. The other activity is massage, right? Because massage is, it's, it's reward, it's pleasure, dopamine hit, it's serotonin, it's like, oh, stress relief. It's oxytocin because someone is touching your body, right? They're, they're, they're really giving you a beautiful massage and it gives you that, that high at the end. Like you might end the massage and you might be like, oh, I'm melting, <laughs> but you also feel like really good and invigorated. So, you know, even if you can't get out to someone to do a massage, maybe you've got a friend or a partner or someone who can give you a massage. It doesn't have to be a full body massage. So we could just scratch the palms of your hand. You can do that to yourself or scratching your back or even the, if someone scratches the soles of your feet, I I'm guarantee you it's going to feel really good. And it's, it's going to start boosting those hormones within, um, you know, and, and you can even do it yourself. You know, when people are anxious, you ever notice sometimes they just kind of rub their legs, rub their arms. It's a way of settling yourself. It's a way of increasing these hormones. So massage is really good. It boosts all of these um, four hormones. All right. So I hope, all right. So I hope everybody, this was helpful for you and that there's a piece of information that you can take away 
And you might be thinking, I didn't know I could boost my happy hormones within. Great information. And you may also be thinking, yeah, I've been using those other methods, but I'm going to start trying some of these. All right, everybody. Love you lots. Ciao for now.